This is the Gobi Desert. Vast, eerie, impenetrable. One of the world's most treacherous outposts. Here was enacted one of the strangest adventures based on fact in the annals of the United States Navy. Yes, believe it or not, these are seven of Uncle Sam's Blue Jackets. Here in the trackless wastes on a mission that could affect the lives of thousands. Sailors on camels who fought their way against overwhelming odds 800 miles to the sea. But the sea's always there and that's where we're going. I'm in charge. I make the decisions. I give the orders. And my order for right now is break camp. And so began this most amazing of amazing stories. When the Navy launched a caravan in the desert, a horde of wild Mongol tribesmen, their only allies, set upon by an enemy seeking vengeance, harassed by Chinese bandits, caught in the merciless menace and mystery of the relentless sands. We should have never left camp. At least there we knew what we were up against. Take it easy. We got guns and we can use them. Guns are no good against demons. Sabatello, you can think of more things to worry about. Well, I don't get it. And what I don't get, I don't like. Looks like you ain't been getting much lately. <laughs> what are American sailors doing in the desert? We were sending weather reports from neutral territory. Who else was sending these reports? Where are they? How many are left? You talk, you talk, you tell us all about weather teams. My name is Samuel T. McKay. We are prisoners of war. Aren't we? We're spies. This whole screwball scheme was his idea. Playing ball with them Mongols, putting on these outfits. We're spies, got that? Spies. We're gonna be lined up against the wall and shot. What do you do? I'm looking right down his throat. Okay, fire! 